Hi, and welcome to Amazing Grace Bible Journaling. I am so excited that you're here today, and I hope you're doing very well. In today's entry, I am using the Armor of God Ephemera by Faith Heirlooms. And this ephemera is this beautiful set that is a perfect reminder of the different pieces of the armor of God. It has some beautiful florals and different elements in it, like a Bible and a cross and different words to use, like victory, armor of God. So I'm laying down these beautiful ephemera on the page. I love this entry, how this is such a good reminder. And I love having this in my Bible. I'm using an interleaved Bible that's also from Faith Heirlooms. The armor of God is from Paul's letter to Ephesus. Here I am stamping this stamp to get a background on the page and using chain mail. I know this is a chain link stamp. I'm using it and I think it looks like armor. I don't want to use the hole in it because we don't have a hole in our armor. It's full armor. Now I'm using a gift card to swipe on some white acrylic paint to knock back the background. I love what white paint can do to a page. It really can change the whole look of a page just by putting white paint on it. Now I am using Distress Oxide Sprays to add some splatters and I'm using a lot of colors. I'm using Festive Berries and um, this orange color. I forgot the name of some of these. Mustard Seed and also, I'm going to use sponge sugar. Believers need to be alert and ready to fight because the enemy's tactics are crafty. Paul knew this and wanted to help and encourage the people, so he wrote a letter. Now I am putting the pieces on the page again, getting ready to glue them down with my Barely Arts Precision Craft Glue. Oh, I just love the colors in this set. They're so vivid and vibrant. It is not with our own power that we defend ourselves from the enemy, but it's God's power working through us. Second Corinthians 10, 3-5 says, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. So some ways that you can change your environment. This is, these are ways to, um, that have power against the enemy, um, you know, putting on worship music, putting on worship music in your room, in your house, in your car while you're driving, 
and filling your filling your mind up with encouraging worship music and what you fill yourself up with is what's going to come out reading the bible daily whether it's a verse or whether it's a whole book of the bible spending a lot of time reading you can also write out verses in the Bible. You can write out verses and there are journals specifically for writing out verses. And also you can um, you can pray. So praying is going to be a very powerful tool and you know we can pray big prayers we don't have to pray small prayers that are you know just help me get through this day just help me make it through like help me pay my bills like God will provide and he will he wants us to come to him with our prayers we can pray for big things and you know children who are hungry pray that they'll be fed and um, you know the people who need help and there's so many bigger prayers that we can pray and um, in Ephesians the verse for the armor of God says for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests.